everyone, it's Ariva from MillennialMama.ca. So today we're going to do a play on textures. I'm going to do a messy fishtail braid. It's going to be nice and sleek on the sides and then nice and messy up top. If you want to see how the style is done, keep watching. So you want to start the style with pin straight hair. And then starting at the corner of your eyebrows, take a round section on the top of your head. Gather the hair and clip it away for now. Start a new section on the top of the ear going all the way to the back of the head. Do the same thing on the other side and then you want to smooth these sections out as much as you possibly can. And then using a clear elastic band, create a ponytail. And then I'm going to use Control Attic from Rutkin to smooth out my sides. And I'm just using my teasing comb to do this, but you can also use a fine tooth comb. You basically just want to smooth out the sides and flatten them as much as possible. And now we're going to start on our top section. We're going to create a really simple Dutch fishtail braid. We're going to start by taking a really thin section right behind the hairline and splitting it into two sections and then crossing one over the other. For this pattern, all you have to do is take a new piece of hair and cross it over to the opposite side. So a new piece of hair from the left over to the right. And a new piece of hair from the right over to the left. Continue crossing new pieces of hair over to the opposite side until you get to the end of the section. Once you get to the back, you're going to take the ponytail that you previously created and you're going to split it into two sections and add it into your braid. And now we're just going to start a regular fishtail braid. So we're going to take small pieces from the outside and cross them over to the opposite side. So a small piece from the left over to the right and then a small piece from the right over to the left. And you just want to continue this pattern until you reach the end of your braid. Bah, my hands are getting so tired. <laughs> so instead of taking really small pieces and crossing them over like I normally do with my fishtail braids, I'm taking pieces that are different sizes. So some of the pieces are a lot smaller than the other. That's because I really want to create a distinction between the messy fishtail and the smoother sides and bottom and then hold the braid at the base and carefully fan it open. Fan the braid open quite aggressively in the back because you really want to create big messy texture. So now you should have something that looks like this. From the remaining hair, take one inch sections behind each ear and then take these two sections upwards towards the back and tie them off like you would tie a shoelace. So just take the right side over the left side and bring it under the loop, creating a knot. And then take the tail ends of the knot and bring them under all of the hair. And then just tie it off with a clear elastic band, nice and tight. And bam, you're done. Smooth and silky on the sides and bottom and nice and messy up top. This is a really versatile hairstyle. You can rock it literally with anything, so enjoy. 
If you do decide to recreate this look, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and my blog, millennialmama.ca, for more hair inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe. Come here. Are you brushing your hair? <laughs> Brush Hobby's hair. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are you brushing your hair? Brush Mommy's hair. Oh, you're ruining Mommy's hair, baby. No, you're ruining it. Brush your hair, not Mommy's. No. Mommy doesn't need her hair done, Lils. Mommy doesn't need, yeah, mommy doesn't need her hair done at all. So thank you for watching. Say bye.